Hey, it's Lindley Oz, January 5th, 2014. I was doing some research on pyramids and just reading about them, and I came across an interesting article that talks about harp using the pyramids to do some types of various activities and testing, which could basically be hellish. It could unleash um, thousands of demons as well as open up gates of hell. And let me start off by explaining something. I did an article about, I don't know, several months ago about pyramids and how they were actually an ancient, highly technological form of electricity. And I also posted a video with that, or a couple of videos that explained it. And those are on my YouTube earlier on in my YouTube channel, so you have to go back pretty far. But it was very interesting. And it explains all this. And in fact, the technology is so highly advanced, we today cannot even copy it. Now, there's a reason for that. The fallen angels were extremely intelligent, and they taught the humans how to do things. Now, when they had sex with the daughters of men, and they had children, they taught their children, who were the Nephilim, the same technology. So that's how they did all this back then, and we can't duplicate it because, well, we're not fallen angels. So, anyhow, back to the point. Um, it talks here about the dangers beneath the sea. Now, Another post I recently did was about pyramids, and it was about the, um, oh, what was it? It was a different pyramid post, not the power one. Um, okay, yes, it was about the Bermuda Triangle and how there was a crystal, three crystal pyramids beneath the sea. Interesting, three is a major um, Illuminati number. And Illuminati are associated with the Nephilim. They are the blood of the Nephilim, that bloodline. And crystal is actually very powerful. In fact, before Satan hid that fact from us, God made crystal to be something that supplied energy. Okay, there is energy associated with crystal. And no, I am not talking about anything new agey. In fact, the way they use it today is new age. So I'm talking about before that. I watched a video and I've posted it before by a Messianic Jewish man. And he really explains it well, and it's very, very interesting. So anyways, there's three crystal pyramids beneath the Bermuda Triangle. All right, so now let's get back to the topic here, dangers beneath the sea. The world's pyramids, especially the ancient ones that may be energy accumulators and advanced power stations, are scattered all over the world on every continent, except Australia and, and Antarctica, although author Rex Gilroy claims a lost civilization called the Uru built a pyramid in Australia that still exists. And allegedly, a pyramid exists in the Antarctic buried beneath one mile of ice. Okay, it goes on to further talk about, it says, magnification of three submerged Pacific pyramids. And I'll supply the link to this article here because there is a lot here and you can click on all these links. It says, three pyramids deep under the Pacific Ocean and curiously aligned like those at Giza were researched by Mike Hagen after he found evidence that harp scalar wave technology was activating the pyramids and triggering their dormant torsion fields. Very interesting there. Okay, now it's got some links here you can go look at. Harp, masters of the ancient power. Mike Hagen's discovery led him to incredible evidence that harp is conducting potentially dangerous experiments attempting to activate ancient technology that scientists think they can control. Mike notes, look closely at the Pacific Pyramid alignments and the structures within. When looking at the full-size maps, you will notice that there is a wee structure to the southeast, the actual third pyramid, similar to Menkeur. Men um, I'm probably killing that. I'm sorry. I've never heard of that before. It's Mink, Minkora or Menkeur. But the pyramid technology is ancient and may be based on physics from 50,000 years ago that today's science can only guess at. Unleashing the torsion field genies trapped inside the sleeping pyramids may unleash cascading events that could eventually prove uncontrollable. Now, a Chinese professors think a pyramid may be alien. Um, they go into talking about that, but I want to go down a little bit further. Where was it? Here we go. It says, um, could the release of hyperdimensional torsion fields by those super civilizations have also released unimaginable and eventually uncontrollable forces that contributed to the fall of those civilizations? Perhaps. 
If true, then embarking on a project to reawaken them without full knowledge of exactly how they work and what their limits of power might be is a fool's errand. The would-be harp masters of ancient technology might instead find themselves the victims of it. Instead of accessing the secrets of the ancients and acquiring limitless power, they could be releasing relentless demons, and then the gates of hell could be flung wide open and chaos rule the earth. Now, I find that interesting because these things, um, they don't sound that unbelievable when you consider the tribulation and all the things that happen when the uh, seals are open, when the angels blow the seven trumpets, when the seven bowls are poured out. When you consider all those things, might this whole harp pyramid thing play into some of the um, events that take place during the tribulation? That's my question. We know that um, harp is associated with many things, including mind control and Project Bluebeam. I've done posts on that too. So it's all very interesting. But what I want to look at here is a specific verse in the book of Revelation. It is right here. And this is Learn the Bible. LearnTheBible.org Four angels in the Euphrates. Now I'd really like to find out if they found any pyramids beneath the Euphrates somewhere. I did kind of look around and couldn't find anything, but it would be interesting to find out. But there are lots of things they have found beneath the Euphrates, like treasures and stuff like that that I know of. It says, uh, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great Euphrates, Revelation 9, 14. Okay, Revelation 9, 13 through 15. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates and the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year uh, to slay the third part of men this passage deals with the sixth trumpet and what is called the second woe the three woes refer to Revelation 8:13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. And, well, they have it right here too. The last three trumpets bring special woes to the inhabitants of the earth. The second of those woes deals with the loosing of four very special angels. Notice several things about these four angels. First, their purpose is to slay the third part of mankind. Their loosing sends forth an army of 200 million horsemen. It is difficult to determine whether these horses and riders are supernatural or marvels of modern technology, but it is clear they are deadly and that they fulfill their purpose. Second, these angels are prepared for a very special time. They are to be released at the very year, month, day, and hour for which they are prepared. Third, they are bound until the time of purpose for which they are ordained. Fourth, they are bound in the great river Euphrates. So it goes on to talk about that. But it's very interesting. You know, according to the article that I just read, let's go back to it here. According to this article, uh, now I can't find it, but I had it earlier, where it talked about how they are, is it right here? Yeah, they are scattered all over the world on every continent except Australia, but one guy claims that there is a lost civilization called Uru, and they built a pyramid in Australia, and allegedly a pyramid exists in the Ar Antarctic buried beneath one mile of ice. Okay, so they're claiming that they have energy, which I've done post on, and that they're beneath the sea, and that basically they're conducting some sort of experiments that could potentially fling wide open the gates of hell, cause chaos on the earth, and um, release relentless amounts of demons. And these are the harp masters. So I'm going to have a couple different videos to do with harp and to do with this whole pyramid ordeal for you to check out but I find it interesting I'd like to delve a little bit deeper into this and find out what's happened since this article 
was published and see if they are still doing stuff under the sea with these pyramids. Um, we know the Illuminati symbol is the triangle and we know the Illuminati do utilize the pyramids for things in their satanic worship. So I'm absolutely positive and there is no doubt in my mind that all this plays into, into end time tribulation events. So let's keep our eyes open. The purpose of what I do is to warn people. You see, there's going to be people that are going to be deceived. How do I know? Because the Bible says so. The Bible says that even the elect shall be led astray. So nobody really knows for sure what event is going to lead the elect astray. We can only guess. So I try to highlight all these events that could be involved in this terrible leading astray uh, situation so that people will be warned and people will know and so that they will remember and so any event that plays into end time events I'm trying to get the word out that is my job um, I am a watchman this is what I'm supposed to do there are many Christians out there who feel that we're only supposed to um, you know do all the happy stuff but we are one body. We each have different callings on our lives. We are not all called to the same thing. If we were, the kingdom of God would be unbalanced. We are all different parts of the body. It'd be, if everybody, if everybody's body just had a hand on it, well, what could that body do? The body would be useless. You've got to have all your different parts to make the whole body function as a whole. This is my job. I will continue up until the end or until my last day doing the work that God has called me to do. So thank you and God bless you. And I will try to follow up on this story and find something to see what's been going on with the whole harp pyramid ordeal. Have a great day and thanks for listening.